1998. I'll never forget it. It was the year when those grisly murders occurred in the Arklay Mountains. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City, and hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. Six years have passed since that horrendous incident. I received special training via a secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Cornel, why am I the one who always gets the short end of the stick? You. Who are you, really? Come on and tell us. You are a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, maybe you did. <laughs> oh, you crazy American. It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. It was right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the President's daughter when she was abducted. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. According to our intelligence, there's reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the President's daughter. Apparently she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? Freezing. So cold all of a sudden. Eh, must be my imagination. Sorry it took so long. Just up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. Yeah, we'll stay and watch that car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. Right. Parking tickets. Good luck. Jeez. Who are these guys? Did you say something? Leon, I hope you can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? 
Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. I'll try to find some more information on my end as well. Good. Talk to you later. Leon out. And welcome to Resident Evil 4. One of my favorite games of all of the times. Yeah, I think this game came out in 2005, and it was a huge dealio because it invented the over-the-shoulder survival horror style, which is it's pretty common nowadays. But this is the this is the best, in my humble opinion. Anyway, my name is John, and I am going to be playing this for you. There is no way I'm going to be able to find everything, because I suck at video games. Duh. <gasps> Stranger. Strangers watching. <clears throat> Alright, let's ask him what he knows. Uh, excuse me, sir? I was uh, looking for the tacos that you serve in this town. I've heard they were very delicious. Actually, I brought a picture of one. 270 degree turn for no reason. We don't sell tacos here. Get the fuck out of my house. Shit, I was just looking for a damn taco, dude. I'll give you a taco! Uh-oh. Freeze! I said freeze! I said freeze! Alright, I'm about to cap your ass then. I'm about to cap your ass- BAM! Oh, I missed it. <laughs> oh, I was trying to be really epic, and I failed. Uh-oh. Well, they're not zombies, if they can drive vehicles. <laughs> shit. Yeah, shit is right. That's the opportune time to say that. And you have to drag out the sh in it, too. Is everything okay? There was a hostile local. As long as I'm looking no at you, yeah. Him. There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there. Oh, no, yeah, there's the hostiles village. trying Take to kill my butthole. Whatever measures necessary butthole, to so. save the subject. Understood. I'll do what I can since I'm a badass. Uh, check. No, he's not a zombie. He talked. <laughs> I think that's a dead giveaway that they're not undead if they can speak. Oh, God. This is where I store all my skulls and the maggots. Yeah, the chances of Ashley being okay in a place like this? Slim to none. I don't know. Just have that feeling. I think there's something over here. Yep. Handgun ammo. We will be looking a lot for those. Alright, what I usually do is run down the... Oh, they think they're gonna cut me into bits? How about I shoot you in the dick? You in the dick. You'll never reproduce, bitch. Shoot you in the dick. Another one in the dick. Another one in the dick. I turn your dick to Swiss cheese, bitch. Nope. Damn, bitch! Karate kick. That was easy enough. Oh, did I say I sucked earlier? <laughs> that was a joke. I'm the fucking best. And I will eat those words. I can guarantee it. <laughs> Later on, I am going to wish I never said that. And this is a save point. I'd say we should definitely do that. Number 14. If you thought it was 14, uh, I think you've been learning from the wrong English teacher. It's actually pronounced fo-teen. F-O-teen, fo-teen. Hey, I think if you shoot these, you get something. Ah, oh, shit. Bitch. Give me that egg. Oh, no. Why would I think if I killed a crow, it would have an egg? I'm an idiot. Oh, a doggy. I love doggies. I have a doggy. I'm gonna save the doggy. Freedom! Run along now! 
mate vigorously with all of the female dogs and enjoy life to the fullest. And that would be a trap. But it's really funny if you lure the, them into them. Un prosthetic Lego! See if I can do it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Bitch. <laughs> yeah. So satisfying. Blowing people to bits. I'd say humans are pretty messed up for enjoying those kinds of things. I don't think dogs enjoy that. Well, maybe they do. I don't know. They kind of seem excited when they're ripping um, things to shreds. Yeah, maybe they do. <laughs> maybe we're a lot more like animals than we think. Bitch. Pussy. Bitch. Right. Bam! That's a new butthole. I gave you a fresh new butthole. You might have to have some surgery to make sure it works right, but it's there. And you can always use it. Ooh, PTAS. I wonder what that is. I don't know. I always just call it money. You know, cash. Cash. Oh, look at him watching. Oh, Protestant. Oh, yeah. Hold up, Phil. Shit. Don't leave me. I think there's someone hiding in. Yep, bitch. Oh, fuck you. Bitch. Kick to the head. And right in the cranium. I wonder what we got from these boxes. Handgun ammo, hmm? Oh, could you imagine being in this situation? I couldn't. I say I'm gonna call it an episode here, though. And then we'll go in there next time. And see what else this grand adventure has in store. And if you like this video, you know, maybe give it a little thumbs up. It'll help. Show that you like it. And I can keep making them like always <laughs> uh, anyway next time on Resident Evil 4 we're gonna go through that dough yo yeah yeah oh I shouldn't waste saying this is a survival horror game all right till then see ya